to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this machine. You can safely machine a surface with a milling machine when you wear proper appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE and by following the recommended safety procedures. You must tie any long hair back and tuck loose clothing in to prevent being pulled into the machine. Do not wear rings or jewelry as they can also get caught in the machine. You must always protect your eyes while in the shop. Wear safety glasses or face shields at all times. You should never operate any machine while you are under the influence of medicine, drugs, or alcohol, or you are tired. Know how to use the emergency stop and test it out. You may need to shut the machine down instantly if a hazardous situation crops up. If you need to use cutting fluids to assist with surface finish and machinability, ensure the availability of proper ventilation and make sure you have read the associated material safety data sheets. Depending on the fluids used, you may need to use a respirator or a mask. Ask your instructor. Machine operators must ensure the workpiece tool holder, cutting tool, and spindle quill are securely fastened. Inspect for dull chipped or cracked tooling and make sure the clamps and workpiece is secure and not movable. Double check everything before starting. Wrenches and keys left in revolving devices can become dangerous projectiles causing injury. Always make sure they are removed and safely away from the work. Some mills have an R power type lowering unit Cutting tools, such as end mills, should be held deep for rigidity. End mills extending too long from the arbor can flex and break under load. Work pieces can be held securely by ensuring they are free of burrs and are sitting flat in the vise, sitting on parallels with paper feelers. Ensure you are ready to establish the proper speeds and depths of cut which are based on the materials, cutters, and operation. Listen carefully to your machine and your process. If it doesn't sound right, you may have a safety risk. Ask your teacher if you're not sure about anything. Ensure that your friends are keeping well clear of your workspace. Take a moment and look around just before you start. Stand in a stable, smart, ergonomic position. You can protect yourself and others from dangerous, hot and sharp cuttings and accidentally broken cutters by using available garden. Make sure guards are tightened and positioned correctly before starting. Especially if automatic feed is used, start cutter rotation and feed from a distance well clear of the workpiece to prevent sudden and unexpected impact. Ensure you clean the vice parallels and deburr the workpiece between each repositioning. After you have completed your work, move the workpiece and vice well away from the milling cutter before removing, installing, or adjusting. Do not work around the spindle while it's still revolving. Wait till the spindle has come to a complete stop. A tidy and clutter-free workspace is a safer workplace. When work is complete, Remove cutting tools and place them back in proper storage locations. Brush away all debris and deposit in proper receptacles. Clean up floor around the machine. Clean out T-slots with a T-slot cleaner tool. Wipe clean all parallel bars, clamps, tooling, and put away in designated storage. Also, wash your hands properly after working in the shop so you don't get any metal debris in your eyes or on your skin after you leave. Remember, don't take any shortcuts and follow all recommended safety guidelines to ensure a tool safe experience. Ensure you are using your PPE and thinking about dangers from loose hair, jewelry, and clothing. Check MSDS for cutting fluids and whether you need a mask. Double check and securely fasten work pieces, tool holders, and cutting tools. Use guarding. It protects you against injury from flying cuttings, broken tool bits, or work pieces. Ensure your spindle quill is locked and wrenches and keys are removed from the machine before starting. Start cutter rotation and feed well clear of the workpiece. Make sure you're aware of your workspace safety area and ergonomic positioning. Clean up right. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.